Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I'm going to show you how to jailbreak 2.0.2 for the iPod Touch or iPhone or iPhone 3G. First thing you want to do is download QuickPwn. I'll have uh, QuickPwn and the 2.0.2 .2 customer store. I will have them both in the video description. And once that's done, you should restore your iPod to 2.0.2. Make sure it's restored to 2.0.2. Regular, no App Store, no Cydia yet. Now what you're going to want to do is go into your task manager by pressing control alt delete and click start track ma task manager or something that can end processes and anything, anything that has apple or ipod in it you want to end that so check them make sure there's none okay make sure there's none and once there's none you can click you can exit out of that now open up quick quick phone what you have iPod Touch, iPhone, or iPhone 3G. Obviously, I'm gonna click the iPod Touch because I have an iPod Touch. Click the blue arrow, click browse, and find where you save the customer store file of 2.0.2. .2. Click open and click the blue arrow again. Okay, you're gonna wanna, you could, obviously, you're gonna wanna have City and installer, but you might not wanna have the pineapple boot logo. If you don't wanna have the pineapple boot logo, uncheck this box, which is what I'm gonna do. If you want to have it, leave leave everything how it is. Then click the blue arrow. Now you're gonna click go. Okay, you should get this. This may take a little while. No, not really a little while. This should take about a minute or two. So we're just gonna wait for this. You should get a lot of code running through your computer. And this may get a little tricky later in the video, but once you get it, once you get the timing right and you get it down, it'll be really easy the next couple times you do it. So, just wait for it. It may get stuck a couple of times, but it'll keep going. It's I may get st it may look like it's stuck a couple of times, but it is not. It's running how it should be. So, just wait for it. Again, make sure all Apple processes are closed. Okay. Now you want to turn on now it says to turn off your iPod Touch or iPhone or iPhone 3G. So, press the power button and slide to power off. Okay, once it's off, you click enter. Uh, make sure you're in this window. Click enter. And it says, are you ready to begin? Uh, yes. Press Y. And then press enter. Beginning process in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay. Hold down the power button for 5 seconds. It'll have a countdown. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, now hold down the home button. Don't let go of the... Don't let go of the... Make sure they're both being held down until this comes it out and then let go of the power button and do not let go of the home button yet okay I messed up the first time I'll have to try it again so isn't this may happen to you a couple times too this is my first time doing it so I timed it right so we'll wait for this again okay I got my timing wrong so hopefully I'll get it right this time your timing has to be completely precise. Otherwise, it will not work. It's kind of tough, but once you get it, it'll it'll be fine. So we're just gonna wait for it. Make sure your iPod is turned on now. Wait for this code to load. Again, it might seem as if it's stuck, but it is not. So just wait for it. iPod again should be in 2.0.2. .2. So let's wait for this. Okay, almost done here. Same time must be done. Just wait a couple more seconds or a couple more minutes. And if you're gonna leave this comment, you cannot use WinPwn or Pwnage to jailbreak this firmware. Pwnage and WinPwn are only compatible with 2.0.1 and 2.0. This is 2.0.2, .2, the newest one. And the only thing different about this one is that it has a couple bug fixes. So press enter. Now you want, it says to turn off your iPod. So we're going to turn this off. Slide the power off. Once it's turned off fully and the screen is black and not lit up at all, click enter. Okay. So you're going to need to hold down the power button for five seconds right after you click Y. 
okay? Why I meant, okay. And then without letting go of the power button, press and hold down the home button for 10 seconds. So you're gonna hold both of them, hold the power for five seconds, and then after that five seconds is done, hold the home button for 10 seconds. Then let go of the power button after those 10 seconds, and then hold the home button for 30 seconds. And then the next step will be. So it says, are you ready to begin? Answer yes or no. I'm gonna answer yes, so click Y. And then enter. Be ready to do this. Five, four, three, two. Now hold the power button. Five, four, three, two, one. Now hold the home button and the power button. Now you can let go of the power button and hold the home for 30 seconds. Only holding the home button now. If you didn't get your timing right, do it again. Which is exactly what happened to me the first time. Hopefully this is almost done. So yeah, and your iPod screen may turn white or blank. And now it should have the pineapple logo. Uh, you should still be holding it. Holding the home button. Okay, now you can let go of the home button. And you should get this screen. That's like performing operations. As you can see, this goes pretty quick. Now it's 100% done. And I'll run through it again. This is going very fast. Okay, now your iPod is restoring to the firmware. And you're just going to wait for this to restore. And once you uh, unlock it, you should have 2.0.2 jailbreaking with City and installer. So I'll wait for mine to turn on. You should, have the, you should have the pineapple logo or the apple logo and a little wheel on the bottom. So I'm going to pause the video. When mine's turned on, I'll come back and explain to you about 2.0.2. And F oh, and mine just hit the... It, it should show just the wheel, a uh, spinning wheel on the bottom, a pinwheel. For Okay, so just don't mess around with your iPod or anything right now. Just leave your computer and iPod alone. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, now your iPod may show the Apple sign. If you, before when I said install Arcidia and the Pineapple Boot logo, if you uncheck the Pineapple box, then you should have the Apple Boot logo. My line turned on, and here it is. It's, now your iPod should be 2.0.2 jailbroken. And that'll be it for this video. You can check it by going to general, about, and you'll be in 2.0.2. Uh, have fun with this installer right now. It's still just a beta, so just wait for that to come out. Cydia, you should. It's it's working great now. We're getting a lot more apps for it. It's doing awesome. So that's pretty much it. So uh, see you guys in my next video.